Hi there. Um, this is not another genre video, even though uh, it looks like it from this area, from this point. Um, what I am doing right now is a label collection video. Um, I I really wanted to do this for a long time, so now I do it, and it's the creation label um, update video thing, collection video thing. Playing in the background is Phantom Force by the Super Furry Animals. It's on orange vinyl, as you can see. These are remixes from their uh, album, which I don't know the name of. I don't have that one. But they're really good. Uh, Super Furry Animals, of course, a band that was on the creation label. And featuring in this video is also stuff by, uh, you know, bands who were on the label, but the releases aren't on the label. So, starting off, My Bloody Valentine. This is My Bloody Valentine. This is not on creation. It's on a German label called Tycoon. And it's not the My Bloody Valentine that everybody knows and loves. It's not shoegazing. This is more garage rock. Really good stuff. I like it, but it's not as good as their other stuff which is this one. This is Loveless. It's the only other album I have uh, by My Bloody Valentine. It's re-released re on plane recordings. Really good stuff. I uh, need to get more by this band. And we have Different for Dome Hats. I think um, Big Star 1000 showed this. This is a great um, compilation. It's probably their first. It's got um, lots of C86 bands on it. I'm going to talk a little bo more about that later. It's got the Pastels. It's got the Jasmine Minx. It's got Early Primal Scream, uh, the Bodines, Weather Prophets, Big ba uh, Biff Bang Pow. Just awesome collection. This is another compilation, Purveyors of Taste, a creation compilation. Another really, really good compilation. This is Feld, uh, Primal Scream again, uh, Meet Whiplash, you know, just awesome bands. This is mid, mid 80s. Another one, this is Doing God's Work, a creation compilation again. Uh, beautiful artwork, I love it. This one has uh, Momus on it, House of Love. Nikki Sudden and the Jacobites, um, and again Biff Bang Pow, just good stuff. This is from 1987. I think Big Star showed this one as well, doing it for the kids. Um, another compilation, this time My Bloody Valentine, House of Love, The Jazz Butcher, Momus, Nikki Sudden, Primal Scream, really, really good stuff. Um, and the last compilation I have is another really good one. It's a later period uh, creation. This is Sorted, Snorted, and Sported. It's a tongue twister for someone who doesn't speak English. Great psychedelic imagery of uh, pig on the front. It's got Primal Scream from their Screamadelica album. It's got My Bloody Valentine, The Telescopes, Slow Dive, uh, Swerve Driver, Teenage Fan Club. Just an awesome compilation. I mentioned C86 sound. This is a band that is C86. It's the Jasmine Minks. This, I think, is called Sunrise or Sunset. It's called Sunset. Uh, it's jumpy, jangly, you know, up tempo, punkish kind of post indie pop, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But that was the C86 sound. A lot of bands came out. In the 1985-1986, um, a tape was released on NME magazine, and uh, it was called the C86 tape, and that became a scene, you know, just up-tempo, jangly, jumpy, kind of crazy indie pop, which is great, except it's really hard to get. This is Jasmine Minx, great stuff, if you like that. This is not on uh, Creation, this is actually on the L label, uh, which was a subsidiary, I guess, of uh, Cherry Red. This is Momus, Circus Maximus, it's a little damaged, but 
it's okay. Otherwise, great, great album. Momus is a uh, awesome singer-songwriter who sometimes reminds me of Morrissey in terms of lyrics and singing style. This is really good. The other stuff I have is on creation. First off, you get The Poison Boyfriend, which is, again, just beautiful music, but a little odd at times. So there you go. This is another one, really good, Tender Pervert. I love the uh, picture of him doing the horns. This beautiful little quirky kind of pop. This is more electronic based, Don't Stop the Night. Later on he would do more of this and even more electronic stuff, which I don't have. But this is pretty damn good. This is, uh, I think, 1990, no, 1989. This is on Cherry Red, Feld, Crumbling the Antiseptic Beauty. I love Feld, just small, real delicate and, and fragile songs that um, should have a bigger audience. Cherry Red is another label that is just amazing. This is another uh, Felt album, and I have to turn it around to read uh, the title, because the titles are always long. This is Forever Breeds the Lonely Word. Um, probably it's easiest to find the album. Um, you might find this for not that much money, but it's, it's worth it. Beautiful album. And I also have uh, Let the Snakes Crinkle Their Hats to Death. This is a little harder to get, but I found it, so it wasn't that expensive though. It's worth it, every single euro, dollar, pound, whatever you pay for it. There you go. Then, The House of Love. This is amazing. I just love this album. It's great, great music, good pop. You know, maybe the start of the Britpop revival that came like a couple of years later with Blur and uh, Oasis. This is really, really good. It's Christine's on it and um, Love in a Car. That's an amazing song as well. Then we here have another self-titled House of Love album. This is on Fontana, but it's just as good. Beatles and the Stones on it, Shine On, just really, really, really good stuff. Biff Bang Pow is actually the band that the owner of Creation uh, was the lead singer of. Um, this is their uh, debut album, I believe, Paint Past the Paintbrush Honey. 60s influence, pop, really, really good stuff if you like that. Then we have another one. This is Oblivion by Biff Bang Pow. Just love the, the orb on it. It's just beautiful. Uh, backside's not really that special. This is uh, Love is Forever by Biff Bang Pow. Uh, probably their most six, 60s sounding um, LP. A lot of uh, really good tracks. Miss California Toothpaste, 1972. That's a great track. Opening track, by the way. And then the last LP I have, it's got a little, I don't know what this is, maybe water damage. This is called the Acid House album. Um, it's nothing to do with the whole Acid House movement, but it was released during that period when Acid House was dominating the music scene. Um, this, by the way, is supposed to be on there. This is spray painted on a white sleeve. So I don't know if all look like this or every album has a different pattern. But the backside is just blank. As you can see, this is maybe it was oil or something. But the LP is in great condition. 
This is the Jazz Butcher, Big Planet, Scary Planet. Um, nothing to do with jazz. It's it's um, just pretty, you know, rocking indie pop. It's really good stuff. Um, but you know, the the title sort of might draw people away from this music. It's really good. Music in the background <laughs> seems like it's skipping, but it's not. Uh, this is Peter Astor, Submarine. Originally it came with a free 7-inch. Sort of reminds me of Feld, but not as good as Feld. You know, it's just great, great stuff. This is not on uh, Creation, but it is, I think, the first album by Primal Scream. This is Sonic Flower Groove. Awesome, la awesome band. This is still their like early Rolling Stones kind of sounding album. Pretty good. It's on uh, Elevation Records. And this is their first one on Creation. Self-titled. Similar to the Sonic Flower Groove. Um, I also have Screamadelica, but I have that on CD. Otherwise, I have none of their records, which is a shame because they're a really good band. This is Nowhere, Ride. Uh, the band Ride with the album Nowhere. Awesome music, just shoegazing beauty. Just I showed it in a '90s great best of the '90s album. Uh, video, sorry. Just awesome stuff. This is Pacific with, I think it's called Inference. Yep, it is. Um, I don't know how to classify this. It's got dance elements, but it's also shoegazy. It's you know pretty strange, but beautiful. And I love the album cover. Uh, so I, I don't really know how to classify this. I also have albums that I don't really like, like this one. This is a self-titled album by Tangerine. This was part of the whole Manchester, you know, dance rock kind of thing, and where other bands like Primal Scream and uh, Happy Mondays, they knew how to do this correctly. This band just fails at it. You know, it's not like terrible to listen to, but it's not that good. Another album I showed in my favorite of the 90s, Bandwagon-esque by Teenage Fan Club. So I'm not going to talk too much about this one, it's just that it's an amazing album and you should have it. Now we have Adorable Against Perfection. Adorable is pretty good, pretty good. Just Britpop that rocks a little more. The song Glorious was, uh, I think, a hit, or at least I knew it, so it must have been on MTV at the time. Good stuff. This is uh, the Boo Radleys with Everything's Alright Forever. Boo Radleys, uh, can't talk too much about them. They're so amazing. Yeah. Just beautiful music, beautiful band. This is another record I showed in an update. This is Giant Steps, a double LP, Gatefold. I hang suspended. You know, just beautiful music. And Sugar, I showed that as well. File under EC Listening. Just amazing, amazing record. Another record that's not really that good, but it's okay. This is Three Colors Red, Revolt. We're talking late 90s here. This is actually 1999. Um, you know, I cannot mention any names of this album that stand out. It's just okay. It's pretty good, but otherwise, you know, I have better records on the creation label. And the last one I'm going to show is Super Furry Animals. This is Outspaced. This is a uh, B-sides, a B-side collection uh, record, and it's got rarities as well. Uh, pretty good. I love the, their music. So this is my collection of creation. I also have some 12 inches uh, among them. Swerve Driver, 
and uh, that's about it, I guess. So I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll be doing more genre updates or maybe even label updates. We'll see. Okay, bye-bye.